Hey there! That's a tasty looking meal you're having. Ah, sometimes there's no better feeling than sitting down on your lunch hour and enjoying a cheat meal. But have you ever wondered what it might be doing to your insides? In particular, your stomach? I'm totally just asking questions here, nothing personal. It's just that I think you may be having too many cheat meals. Did you know that each year close to 25% of people are affected by abdominal pain, heartburn, and indigestion? This is caused by a bad diet. Let's talk about eight foods that are harming your stomach. Should I cut bread? How about processed meat? Do I really have to stop drinking alcohol? We're talking all that and more. Number one, french fries. Professionals will go on all day about how french fries are loaded with salt and can make your blood pressure skyrocket. But do you realize what this famous fast food side is doing inside your gut? One small order of McDonald's fries contains 230 calories. Because french fries are so high in fats and low in fiber, they take longer to digest. Sometimes sitting in your stomach for days. We're gonna pull out a fancy word here. A high fat diet is known to hurt your gut's microbiome. This is the community of microorganisms living inside your stomach. Some are bacteria, some are fungi, among others. Number two, pizza. Okay, this is going to be a controversial one. Perhaps the most troublesome of all our picks on the list. After all, an estimated three billion pizzas are sold in the US each year. Heck, 1.5 million are said to be eaten on Super Bowl Sunday alone. I hate to rain on your parade, but too much pizza is terrible for your stomach. The average adult is recommended to eat no more than 13 grams of saturated fat per day. Not only is the average pizza slice an estimated 311 calories, it contains almost half of your daily intake of saturated fat. If you eat four slices in one sitting, that's around twice your recommended intake. This means there's a scary amount of saturated fat resting along the lining of your stomach. Over time, this fat can affect your heart and clog your arteries. Still craving that greasy slice? Number three, watermelon. While watermelon is definitely among the most delicious summer snacks, your stomach thinks differently. Have you ever heard of fructose? Fructose is a natural sugar that doesn't fully absorb into your digestive system. When too much is had, something occurs known as fructose malabsorption. This can lead to bloating, gas, abdominal pain, not to mention possible fatigue and vomiting. So if you're attending a picnic or summer barbecue, you may want to keep a tab on how much watermelon you're munching on. You don't want to be walking around a bloated mess. If you want to eat watermelons, just make sure you're not swallowing the seeds. Watermelon seeds are known to block your bowels from working. Happy camping! Number four, beer. Put the drink down, right now. I'm kidding, you don't need to stop drinking that beer that urgently. Just know that the beverage has some pretty negative effects on your stomach. The average bottle of Corona carries with it 148 calories, while a Budweiser has as many as 200. These beers can carry a minimum of 13 grams of carbohydrates. Once digested, these fermentable carbs will settle in your stomach, causing it to bloat. If you've ever had a beer on an empty stomach before, you feel as if your insides are gonna explode. Remember how we mentioned your microbiome? Well, beer can also cause a significant change to that as well. This can lead to damage of your tissues. My advice is if you're going to drink a beer, try your best to go for the light stuff. It may taste weak and your friends may make fun of you, but over time, you'll have the healthiest gut at the knitting party. Are you trying to cut booze and other vices from your life? Check out our video on nine tips for living happily. Or if you're simply trying to kick sugary drinks, you may want to look into how drinking soda and fruit juice daily ups your risk of cancer. Now, let's get back to our list of eight foods that are harming your stomach. Number five, ice cream. To put it simply, ice cream has lactose. Did you know that lactose intolerance affects between 30 to 50 million Americans? While we've all heard of this lactose intolerance, many aren't educated as to what lactose actually is. Lactose is the distinct sugar that is only found in dairy products, and it can be really harmful to your stomach. 
Similar to beer, if all you're consuming is ice cream, your stomach may begin to bloat. But that's not it. Dairy products in general are known to have a significant effect on your gut's microorganisms. Number 6. Chips Like french fries, potato chips are another salty side you can easily lose track of. The average bag of chips contains 274 calories, along with 24 grams of carbs and 262 milligrams of sodium. And that's just regular potato flavor. Think of all the other garbage you're putting in your stomach when you're eating salt and vinegar or barbecue. While calorie and carb intake is important, we need to discuss saturated fats. Because chips, they have a lot. There are almost 19 grams of fat in a single bag of potato chips. Let's say you were to eat the equivalent of two bags. Let's face it, that's easy to do. The saturated fats would be hard to digest, eventually sitting in your gut and wreaking havoc on your midsection. Over time, your stomach fat will build up, resulting in a belly. Enjoy your cheat meal. Hopefully, it's the last one for a while. Number 7. Eggs This popular breakfast choice is one that may be hard to shake for many of you. It certainly is for me. While eggs straight from the chicken may not be harmful, farm-raised eggs are a different story. These eggs may not be equipped with the proper antibiotics known to be found in regular eggs. You may also want to check if you're allergic to eggs. Sensitivity could lead to abdominal pain and poor digestion. If you have an extreme intolerance towards eggs, you can also experience nausea and vomiting. But those are in extreme cases. Number 8. Corn At this point, you're probably thinking, hey, Corn is delicious and healthy for you. How can it possibly cause harm to your stomach? Well, corn is a vegetable, so obviously there are going to be benefits. The problem is that corn contains cellulose, an organic compound found in plants that may not digest if it's not properly chewed before swallowing. In the case of improper digestion, corn can cause the usual pain in your stomach, along with gas and bloating. Now, I don't mean to sound like an annoying parent, but you're not a baby anymore. Chew your corn. Are you experiencing stomach problems? Would you consider cutting any of the foods we just listed? Sound off in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.